I am a champion. Why do I call myself a champion? Because champions are those who stand up for someone. I am a champion because I use my voice for those that doesn't have a voice, specifically for the undocumented immigrants and refugees in the immigration detention centers in Japan. Today, I want to share with you why I decided to do this and what I have learned from this experience. It all began in the beginning, year, beginning of my senior year of high school, when our teachers gave us a task to write a senior thesis on a global issue. For this project, I chose the topic of the abuse of human rights against the undocumented immigrants and refugees who are detained in the immigration detention centers in Japan. And little did I know, this project would lead me to be at the front covers of newspapers, invited to a press conference, and play a role in starting a movement all in the last semester of my senior year of high school. Through this experience, I came to the conclusion that we should start using our infinite opportunities and platforms to speak up for those that doesn't have a voice in this society. We live in a generation where we have a platform to voice our opinions, for better or for worse, because of how connected we are through social media. Let me share with you an example of this. In 2019, a 17-year-old Ferrora Aziz spoke up about the Uyghur Muslim concentration camps in China on TikTok. And this video got millions of views. And as a result, she was able to raise awareness about this issue. OK, let me ask you something. Are you ready? Raise your hand if you use any social media platform, such as Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Majority of you, thank you. Feroza was just a normal 17-year-old in the US, but she knew of the injustice that was happening against the Uyghur Muslims in China, and she was able to raise awareness about this issue through TikTok. And this shows how infinite our opportunities are when we want to raise our voice against injustice. Whether it be sharing an issue you deeply care about on TikTok, or starting a hashtag campaign on Twitter, or posting a video on YouTube. We have the platform to make a difference in the world. And guess what? You can do all this in your bedroom while you're laying in bed and eating chips. Or well, maybe that's not the best way, but you get my point. During the process of my senior thesis, a new law amendment was introduced for the immigration law. And as I researched about this immigration law amendment, I realized that it was against the international law called non refoulement principle, which basically states that you can't forcibly deport refugees back to their countries when their lives are at risk. And I immediately knew this was an opportunity for me to speak up. So I decided to host a peaceful protest against this law amendment. And when I did this protest, so many people came up to me and told me how brave I was. But to be honest, I was scared. Well, terrified, because I knew there were haters and xenophobic people all over the internet who were saying things like, people protecting undocumented immigrants are anti-Japan. And at first, I was even hesitant to use my first name for the sake of protection of my privacy until I came across a quote by Rosa Parks, which says, and I quote, you must never be fearful about what you're doing when it is right. And this quote directly spoke to my heart and inspired me to take this action and be confident in using my full name. When we speak up, there will be haters and people who will try to oppose, oppose us but we cannot let the risk stop us from doing what our heart feels is right. And when we finally start to speak up for what is right, chances are we are not alone. Taking that first step to make a difference is difficult and it requires bravery. But when we do, we will inspire so many others to do the same. I recently had an amazing encounter with a girl in middle school. She came up to me during a protest 
And she told me that it was her first time coming to a protest and that she was inspired to take this action after seeing my social media where I shared my experience on advocating for human rights. I believe that the quote, one person can change the world by Rosa Parks comes to reality when that person's action becomes a chain reaction for others to make the difference in the world. Let me give you one example. Say, Greta Thunberg. She started a movement by skipping schools to advocate for climate justice at the age of 15. And as of now, millions of youth and teenagers all around the world are part of this movement. I recently met a Japanese teenage boy who is a climate activist. He was inspired by Greta to start a protest with his high school friends and even start school strikes at his high school. Greta was just a 15-year-old, but she had the burning passion for this issue, and she was able to raise awareness and take the action, which turned into a global movement, which is getting attention even from world leaders. We have the power to change the world, to be champions for those that doesn't have a voice. So if you're carrying out your passion and voicing your idea, people will support you. So, and your opportunity is infinite thanks to social media. But if the possibility is infinite, why isn't everyone taking action already? Well, when you look at Martin Luther King, Greta Thunberg, Ferrara Aziz, all the leaders and starters of movements, what they have in common is passion. So if you have a genuine passion, I want you to embrace it. Whether it's starting a hashtag campaign, hosting a birthday fundraiser, creating a documentary, starting nonprofit, creating an app, making music or an art piece, or kneeling down at your football game. There are infinite ways you can share your passion to advocate for what is right. You can be a champion. We can all be champions. I want to end with a quote which my favorite teacher wrote on my graduation card. Seek those who may not normal, normally be sought after. Give them the respect no one else wants to give and continue to give the hurt, the sense of dignity that God has given to all of us. Thank you.